Hey, how you doing? In this video, I'm going to show you the two best ways to do affiliate marketing. Ultimately, it comes down to free and it comes down to paid. Depending on your situation and where you're at right now, and I'm talking about your actual situation. Don't make any excuses about I don't have money because you probably do and you're just spending it on some bullshit, right? So let's get into this. Let's get real about this topic and I'm going to break down each one so that you can figure out where you're at, what you want to do and what's best for you. So the first point I want to cover in the best way to do affiliate marketing is the free method. Okay, now there are some very, very big platforms available to us that allows us to make a lot of money if we know how to optimize what it is that we're actually doing. But before I get into the free stuff, here's a way that you can get some free stuff by subscribing and commenting on this video. In doing so, I'm going to throw you into the end of the month prize draw where you're going to get coaching and courses available to you. Yours truly's personal courses that are not available for sale and you're going to get a coaching call with me as well if you take out the top prize. And in doing so, I'm going to sit down and talk to you about your business, your goals, where you're at and what you want to do and help you figure out a blueprint to get to that next phase. All right, so make sure you do that. Go ahead and subscribe and comment below. Comment anything you want. Ask a question, right? And I'll be able to answer it. Uh, it might even turn into a video. You never know. So here's the thing. When it comes to free, the biggest platform available to us, in my opinion, is YouTube. And that's the reason why I'm working so hard to get out as much valuable content as I possibly can without basically getting too much shit out there where people are like, would you just shut the fuck up already? Okay, so my point is this. YouTube is a huge platform if you like to do video. If you don't like to do video, then YouTube is probably the worst platform in the world that you could do. Some people are legitimately terrified of getting in front of the camera. Now, should you work through your fear of getting in front of the camera in order to make your dreams, your financial dreams come true? Is it worth securing your future financially to overcome that fear? Is it worth creating financial freedom for you and your family to overcome this fear. Yes, 100% it is. But are there better ways to start if you have that fear? 100%. If you know how to write a hell of a lot better than you know how to do video, then I would suggest going on to something like Facebook or Instagram, right? And in, in those particular platforms, you don't need to get in front of the camera. But once again, it is advantageous that you do because both platforms have come out and they've admitted that video is their number one priority. Why? Because video is not only the present, but it is 10 times over the future. That's why so many people are turning their businesses towards doing video. You can see big time marketers like Neil Patel and Pat Flynn, they're turning all of their focus onto YouTube this year. Previously they didn't, and that gives you a clue, okay? These guys make multiple millions of dollars. It is no mistake that they are turning to this particular platform. It is not a mistake, okay? They've done it for a very reason, and that's because they know that the return on investment, i.e. the time that they put into creating these videos, is, more, is well worth it. We're talking for them where they've got optimized sales pages products for sale they've got funnels in place you know probably every video they put out is worth a few hundred uh, sorry a few a few tens of thousands of dollars for them so is it worth sitting down and creating video yes absolutely is it worth overcoming your fear in order to dominate this platform even if it takes two three four five years down the line absolutely right but there are other platforms that you can dominate as well depending on what it is that you prefer to do again if you like to write Instagram might be the way to go or LinkedIn, right? If you prefer to, to, to sit down and be creative and create beautiful graphics, then Pinterest might be the way to go for you. Or even Instagram, you can help that shit go viral if you learn how to optimize your posts, right? So free or otherwise, okay, these are great platforms from which to build upon. There is a reason why the greatest modern day uh, direct sales marketer, in my opinion, Russell Brunson is doing a lot more content now than he ever did before. And that's because he knows that prices are getting so ridiculous. The market is becoming so competitive that simply pumping more money into a campaign isn't necessarily the answer. Okay, so what he's talking about instead is creating valuable content, driving people towards that content, and the content will convert those people for free. Okay, and that's why having this as your foundation is the best thing to do and it is the number one best way to do affiliate marketing in 2018. But point number two is to get into paid advertising. So what am I talking about in terms of paid advertising? I'm talking about everything. Google, Yahoo, Bing, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram. There are so many platforms now that allow you to invest into ads. Now when you're starting out, if you're completely brand new, the Google keyword platform is quite, uh, sorry, the ads platform is quite overwhelming. There is a lot of tr uh, 
tickering with this and that. And then Facebook is still another level beyond that because they're so strict that's like there's a ridiculous amount of people that are getting banned be just because they have one word in their ad. Like they're 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 not being banned from play, from doing Facebook ads. Their, their accounts are literally shut down. They're no longer on Facebook, okay? So there is a huge fear and there is a huge learning curve on Facebook in order to make that happen. So what I would suggest you to do, if you're new, is start with Bing, okay? Bing are very flexible. Their people are very easy to reach. They're very open and communicative. They have a much, much smaller audience than Google, which is why they're so much more flexible, which allows you to test what it is that you're doing and seeing if you can actually start making some money with that, okay? Once you figure out uh, Bing, then you could go to Yahoo. Once you figure out Yahoo, you can go to Google, then Google, then Facebook, or whatever the case may be, may be for you. But whatever you do, just start, okay? Start with where you're at, you know, whether your budget's $5 a day or $50 a day, just start with whatever skills you currently have and what you feel is best for you. If you're a numbers cruncher, then, you know, doing the freeway might not be very interesting to you, but doing paid advertising might be your game, okay? There's money to be made in both. It really just comes down to you and figuring out what your media type is, what your preferred platform, how do you want to go about attacking this affiliate marketing game? You know, what's the best way for you to do affiliate marketing? And so here's a couple of other things that you need to look at in terms of paid, in terms of things that you need to invest in beyond just paid advertising, okay? You need to look at getting more of a hybrid system, a affiliate marketing system that's going to allow you to make a lot more money, okay? In other words, like instead of being positioned for a one-off sale of 50% or maybe $100, i.e. you get 50, you might be able to lock in a customer that you can make money from every single time they invest in that particular system, whether it's $100 or $5,000, okay? You need to position yourself in a hybrid system to allow you to make recurring and ongoing income which is another thing that you really need to be looking at but more importantly a hybrid system that prioritizes you and your business not somebody else's like Amazon or eBay right someone goes and they make their purchase and they're done that's it right you never get a sale again unless you refer them directly through your link but this other system lock can lock in a customer to you directly and that's how you can go about making your money so the other thing that you want to take into consideration is paid training. Now, obviously at the free stages, you can go about, you, there's a lot of people you can follow on Facebook or Instagram. You can model what it is that they're doing. There's a lot of YouTube videos you can watch like these. That's going to give you valuable, helpful tips to help you build your business online. But when it comes to the, the paid side of things, this is when you're really getting serious. You know, when you start looking at courses that are two, three, four, five hundred dollars you know, one, two, three, four thousand dollars to help you invest your knowledge, to really find out what's really going on and how to go about doing it. Now, before you invest in any course, hit me up first, okay? Because I actually have a product review channel where I give the 100% honest truth about a course, whether it's great, whether it's average, or whether it's complete horseshit that you should be steering away from. There are courses out there, seriously. There are courses in this particular niche, in affiliate marketing, that is $300 that I wouldn't wipe my ass with. Honestly, the courses are so below average. For $300, you can learn everything that they're teaching you and then some on YouTube 100% free. So before you spend any money in courses, right, before you're investing in any training, you make sure you contact yours truly and I will give you my honest opinion about it. There are a lot of big dogs out there that won't like what I'm doing and the, the reason I'm going about doing it, but there are a lot of other people that will respect the fuck out of what I'm doing because they know that their courses are worthwhile. They've really put in the work and the effort. They're not just popular and they're just throwing some courses out there knowing that you're gonna spend 500 bucks just because of how cool they are and what they've achieved without teaching you what it is that they're actually doing, all right? Very, very disappointing. So you make sure that you can invest in what it is that you wanna learn. So say for example, if you've decided that your, your media type is video and you wanna get into YouTube, then you want to learn about how to optimize a video, how to optimize a channel, how to convert people from watchers into subscribers, how to convert subscribers into customers, and things like that, okay? There is a full method, there is, there is steps and strategies and tips and techniques that will never be taught on a free platform that is available through paid, okay? And every single platform has paid training that you can dive into that's gonna help you really build a big business, okay? This is, this is talking about you're investing in your knowledge and yourself and your business in a way that you're gonna learn things to apply that's gonna get you double your returns, right? So every time you put $100 worth of money or effort into a video, you're gonna get $200 worth out of it, right? I talked about Neil Patel and Pat Flynn earlier on. Their little five, six minute videos, they're small little videos that don't teach you a whole hell of a lot. 
but they have such a big following that at this point, that probably six minute video probably took them 20, 30 minutes to shoot. You know, someone edited, upload, optimized and uploaded it. And from that little video, they're going to get one customer that's worth probably $500, right? That is how, that is worth the money. Now at the beginning, you've got to grind. You've got to put your worth out there. You've got to make people realize that what, that you are actually worth following. And in doing so, it's going to raise your market value, which is going to help you make a lot more money than a lot of these other clowns that are just throwing shit out there, hoping that it'll stick on the wall. All right. Don't be one of those people. So look, I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it was a little bit intense, but I see a lot of people out there investing money in the wrong platforms or in the wrong things, or they're being coached by coaches, being telling them to do this and do that. You don't have to do shit. You need to figure out what works best for you in terms of your strengths and your weaknesses. And then you need to really like figure that out. Then you need to dominate that particular platform Whatever that platform is, there is money to be made everywhere, okay? So look, if you've got any questions at all, if you want to help get discovered, if you want to figure out like, how do you do this free thing? How do you do this paid thing? Then hook up with me, all right? The way you do that is in the comments below, there is a four part video series that my mentor and I have put together just for you, where you can start really learning the next level of this game so that you can really start dominating in 2018 and beyond, all right? So in that four part video series, you're gonna absolutely love it. And then you've got private access to my email address Address, where you can send me through any questions that anyone will tell you who follows me on YouTube, on Facebook, on Instagram, wherever it is that you follow me, you know that I get back to you personally. Sometimes it's 24 hours, sometimes 48 hours, right? Family comes first. But I always get back to people personally on my own time when I can ASAP. All right, so take care, much love, and I will see you in the next video.